Let me know when you're ready yep. to start. I'm ready. Um, on go. Three, two, okay. one, go. What's up, everybody? I was not expecting to be uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. playing this game today, but I mean, here we are. Let's do it. I'm sure. It doesn't require much practice, right? Yeah, we got this. Like riding a bike. Definitely. So, um, yeah, just a Mega Ruby. Uh, pretty much the same as the intro as uh, Fortunate had. We're going to pick the girl for the exact same reason that we picked the girl in Alpha Sapphire in this game. And the Mudkip resets is just basically the same. I saw some people asking earlier about um, the best natures for you can get for uh, Mudkip, and the best one's probably Naughty for sure. Um, plus, I mean, any plus attack is really good, honestly. I would say any of them are, you know, yeah. really good. Maybe not on a special attack for reasons I guess we'll talk about later. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Definitely not minus speed. That's a real pain. Yeah, definitely. I think the only completely unrunnable natures are minus attack. I think you could technically get by with like good enough IVs on defense, special attack, and speed. But uh, there's just no coming back from a bad attack nature. Yeah. Definitely. As long as the nature is a uh, minus special defense, um, it tends to be pretty, pretty good, Mudkip. That's always what you want to exactly. see. And uh, despite, you know, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire being, you know, both basically kind of same games, their routes are, you know, completely different. Um, it's pretty cool, yeah. honestly. Yeah, even even though a lot of the fights that we'll see from uh, Team Magma, there's some differences between Team Magma and Team Aqua, obviously. Uh, but even some of the Pokemons that they would share... Um, like, for example, there are, like, Zubats and Golbats that they would have. Um, even their, their natures are different across the two games, and that actually changes some of the strategy. Um, and that also kind of plays into yeah. the fact that, you know, they're just different teams, so they'll have different Pokemon. So there's a different approach for Carvana versus uh, Nummel. Um, Nummel is just a lot easier to deal with, but yeah, oh, yeah. we have some strategy specific for that. Definitely. As well as, obviously, Latias versus Latios. Kyogre versus yeah. Groudon. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Mega Ruby definitely brings that. Just pain. Yeah. A Mega Ruby definitely brings that consistency. Yeah. Personally, I, I like Omega Ruby just because, like, I feel like during the run, especially early on, there are, like, options for you to, like, I guess the route to deviate a little bit based off the stats of the Mudkip. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure we'll see as the time goes on based off our what Mudkip we can actually get with this. Um, but yeah, uh, the Alpha Sapphire tends to kind of be, uh, you have this one route, one way to do it. You have to do it and you pray you don't die. But because mm -hmm. Omega Ruby's a little bit safer, you can hedge and take some risks and stuff like that um, with like choosing not to buy super potions or some other strategies that we can do. So it's super fun in that way. Yeah. I'm just a fool who prefers Alpha Sapphire. They're both good games. Yeah. What the what it's worth. Gen six in general, in my opinion, it's one of the most slept on uh Pokemon speed runs, honestly. Like it's a really good speed gen. Yeah. My, all around, in my opinion. Yeah, a X and Y is a really unique run. I think it's personally it's really fun to watch. Um, I don't run it, but I love watching everyone run X and Y. And Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are probably one of the most accessible runs from Pokemon speedrunning perspective. Unfortunately, just with the difficult nature of actually getting uh, like a capture card installed on a 3DS, it makes it a little bit hard. But uh, oh, there are emulator options. Yeah, there's definitely emulator boards and stuff like that that we can that's do. That's how but, I started uh, off with. That's how I started too. Whoa, All crazy. Right. Are we going to save before? Yeah, honestly, yeah. I might. I think this is yeah. worth it. Yeah. 
So this is our first opportunity. Maybe we can give it a couple tries. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you're if new to this kit, run, nice. if you're new to this run. Uh, there's a specific stats that we're looking for on Mudkip. Um, at level six, we're looking at 14 attack, uh, at least 10 defense, at least 10 special attack, and then at least uh, oh. really well, we're looking for 10 dang. defense. I Honestly, asked... that should be fine. I'll run this. That should be right. fine. Yeah. yeah I think it's fine. good. Even if, the attack, even if the attack's 13. As long as the attack's 13. Yeah. You're alright. Yeah. Yeah. So, so more than during... likely neutral nature. I think it was 12, 11, 10, 10, 9. Yeah. So I think that should be a neutral nature, potentially minus speed. Yeah, um. The plus defense. Positive, or... Yeah, it could be plus defense. Plus defense minus speed. Uh, that's fine. We'll get through it. I can buy some couple extra speeds, I guess. Oh my gosh! There's the star. <laughs> I just checked the game feed, the the live feed. Oh God, Jordan, why? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we got Mudkip, and uh, the, the story falls pretty similar to uh, Sapphire. So um, we meet the professor. We're going to go fight uh, his son, which is the, our rival for the game. Um, and so that's kind of the, the big moment where we turn level 6, and we uh, finally decide if our, our Mudkip is runnable or not, and we'll check the stats when we level up. So the moment of truth. Yeah, exactly. Ah. And that first that first warm pool encounter is always forced, but yeah. unfortunately this one is not. Yeah. That's the only level three warm pool you'll encounter on this route. So this one's level two, but the other one was level three. Did Wanley win just again? Won what again? the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? Man, seriously, go buy a lottery ticket or something. <laughs> Man, what the <laughs> base ferrets too. It's, it's good, honestly, to be completely I'm... fine, too. We could just get a plus one to speed, plus two to attack. Potentially. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Even I just want a plus one to attack. And then I think everything else will be alright. Hmm. Alright, so, uh... This fight, obviously, uh, the rival's Pokemon obviously depends on which one we picked. Uh, we picked Mudkip, so the rival will have Trico. Trico is not an issue for this fight. Uh, it can be a little bit problematic later on, but uh, it, it tends to be pretty okay to manage with it. Yeah. Poor Trico, unfortunately, has terrible attack, so it's just going to pound us, and it's not going to really be doing any damage compared to Mudkip, which is just going He Oof. crit us, and we crit him right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1 and 256. Yeah. Okay, we're going to check our stats right here when we level up. Hey, not great. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I, mean, I think I am minus speed, but it was a plus zero to nine, so it, I don't know. I really don't know what it could be, but we'll, we'll make it work. The save button exists. <laughs> so thankfully saving takes like no time compared exactly. to Gen 4. Yeah. Saving in this game is actually really, really fast. Yeah. So uh folks at home, we saw a 13 attack and nine speed. Those are technically runnable, um, but they're not ideal stats. Um so yeah, we're we're still we'll be inputting uh the stats as we level up as we go. Uh and kind of it'll we have some programs that'll help us determine um Pretty much what natures and what kind of our ivs are for each pokemon and so our strategy will kind of change based off those stats 
Yeah. Exactly. So I'm pretty sure it was this. So it was 12 attack and a 13. 13, 12, 11, 11, 9. Thank you. Yeah, so I, like you said, I am inputting my stats into an IV calculator. And that'll just help us a little along the way with, you know, defensive ranges and even offensive ranges on certain things. As well as there's some certain strategies you can do on certain fights if your stats, you know, are a little better. You know, you got a little better speed. You know, you can save a setup turn or a little bit of extra attack. Save an extra X attack or yeah. something. Yeah, one of the fights coming up actually depends on what our stat distribution of attack and special attack are. Um, strategy can change a little bit, so we'll see based off the level of what we can do. I, I assume with this attack, though, I guess we wouldn't be uh, tackling the pooch. Yeah, probably not. It was 13, 12, 12, 11, 9. Yeah. Maybe I should have water gunned, actually. But yeah, that's yeah. a very unfortunate. I mean, that range is with 13 attack. I don't. I'm not sure what the range it's... is with 13 attack, but yeah, um... Um, it's a very favored range. Whenever that was 15, 14. Okay, I can work with that. I didn't see the speed there. And on speed. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah. So it's potentially minus speed nature. Still a chance it's neutral. But I don't know if it's neutral, actually. I feel like it has to be minus speed, right? Um, that's what I was saying on my calc. I wasn't... Motley. No, I mean, minus speed isn't great, but I mean, we'll do, we can save for rival two. That's the big one where it's going to matter. Yeah. I think at some point back when Pokeguy and uh, Super Main had world records for this game, I think both of theirs were minus speeds. I remember at one point there was two yeah. records that had minus speeds. So it's not a exactly. death sentence, but it's it, it feels bad when you're running it. <laughs> oh yeah. You get out fed by a lot of gym battles. Even. Yeah. Shout out to Five Up it though. Yeah. He's uh, the well, one who really inspired me to run Gen Six. Yeah, I remember watching his He's, runs. Uh, also a really good runner of these games. Yeah. Everyone's favorite time is catch tutorial. <laughs> yep. And unlike in earlier gens, this is a set encounter. So unfortunately, you know, this, this Ralts cannot be shiny and we also cannot two shot it. Can the rolls be shiny? Uh, maybe I don't think the rolls can be shiny. No, I I mean I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is scripted fight here. Nice little break for your hands though. True. So a lot of cutscenes unskippable <laughs> in this game. Exactly. Um, so... Yeah. So the save nest for Pooch. Yeah, it has sand attack, so it just lowers your accuracy. It's so like miss. It's just so, so annoying when you get mine. Just constantly missing. And then it has how, which yeah. increases its attack. So it does more damage than your old smith. Exactly. Yeah. And our stats aren't the best, so... Oh, 
could not help us either in that regard. Normally, whenever you have, if you have like really good attacks, sometimes you can. Uh, if you, uh, I don't remember. It's been so long. Yeah, really good. It's a three-shot tackle, I think. But yeah, more unfortunate encounters. So there is a strategy. I probably could have done it where norm where you can just run through the beach. Uh, cutting through this grass is faster, but this is unfortunate. Slow mudkip. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one thing we have slow mudkip. Seeing the encounters. Yeah, so if you can go to the beach, the beach actually ensures you don't get any encounters, but it's a little bit slower. But it also brings that consistency. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save. I was going to potentially potion, but I can just potion and fight if I have to. Yeah. Not a big deal. Yeah, mainly I just wasn't comfortable with doing the beach because there is a a uh, a trainer down there that's walking around. Yeah. We don't really know their cycle. It definitely mess you up. Could be tackling actually. Yeah. One sand attack. Yeah. That's also the bad speed to get out sped here. So it even compounds the uh, sand attack misses. Alright, easy fight. Uh, let me actually grab my stats here. Plus one on everything. Thank you. Yeah, so that was probably the one of the better case scenarios to pooch. Yeah, um, exactly. There's so many ways that that fight can go. Uh, one of the worst ways is just to get like just dumped on with sand attack, and then it'll just start howling as you're missing. Oh, and at that point, it'll it'll just tackle and it'll just kill you. Um, other thing that can happen is uh, sometimes you'll get knocked if you're have good enough speed. Uh, you'll tire uh, outspeed it. Um, if you get knocked into torrent range, you can switch from tackling to water gun. And try and get a good three shot in. So it's not a pretty standard fight. Yeah, picking up ball mushroom here. Yeah, this that little trainer can be annoying. Yeah, or sometimes. spinners. Or yeah. Hopefully we don't. Worst. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to showcase or spinners in this run. But <laughs> we'll see uh, yeah. for my run. <laughs> spinners are very weird in this game sometimes. So the items we picked up as a bomb mushroom, we'll be selling that later, and then an ether we'll use in not the upcoming gym, but the the gym after this. And then we're gonna pick up God TM Echoed Voice. Yeah. <laughs> Is he why he carries early in? Yeah. I think. yeah. It's truly the only way we can actually get through the second gym. Um, yeah. Echoed Voice is great Ooh. because. It is 40 power to start, but uh, every time, every subsequent use you have, it uh, adds 40 to the power. So the first time you use it, 40. Second time is an 80 power, all the way up to 200. And so we'll just kind of chain echoed voices and try and get through some hard fights in the future. Yep. <laughs> More cutscenes. I'm a little worried about my mudkip here, but uh, we'll definitely get through it. Also, I think I misclicked in my IV calculator. Ah, uh, I've got the stats. So there are two trainers in this gym. You skip the, or I guess there's three. Yeah. But you you can skip all of them, but you hit the last one and avo you avoid this one right here. You hit the last one to level up to level nine, and then level ten from gym battle just makes the uh, range is better. Yeah, there's only really two optionals I think we fight, um, and that's specifically for an experience that we want to have reach a certain level before a certain point in the game. Um, pretty much there's two uh, 
there's a minor and a plusal uh, upcoming, and right. we want to be marsh stomp by the time we get there, um, simply because we don't want to. Uh, we want to be able to resist electricity, and yeah, it, it's just an easier fight that way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save for Roxanne here because this fight, yeah. there's one bad crit on this fight, and you just lose. Definitely worth saving there. And the reason you hit that one, so we're nearly one. Th the other one has sturdy, which makes it so exactly. it survives yeah. the attack. It's it wasted a lot of time. Roxanne's pretty standard, so she always she has she she's not like other games where she has multiple potions to use. She just has one, so we're just gonna water gunner right away, and just draw out that potion. Mainly because we don't want that potion to be used on Nose Pass. It'd be pretty bad. Yeah, Geo Dude's a little bit easier to deal with simply because uh, uh, it's both ground and rock, so it's four times weak to water. But uh, Nose Pass is just weak to. Uh, That's a critical hit. Water. Oof. Luckily, we got crit on that turn. Is that another crit? It is. <laughs> okay. Unfortunate. It's, I think that actually, it's going to work out fine, actually, because it's going to allow me to get hit in the torrent here, and then th this will die. Yep. So when you hit this nose pass with two torrent hits, it's actually guaranteed to die in three shots, which is pretty cool. So what was my speed there at level 12? Yeah, I saw it was another plus one. So I... Yeah. So uh, I'm level 11. I think it was 14. Okay. Yeah, I put my special attack wrong, unfortunately. It's no big deal. Um, where's my HP? I'm trying to debate if I should stay for this next fight. <laughs> or just heal. I mean, for many of you, you might as well heal. Kids are going to have to heal. Uh, you, you, yeah, I mean, you generally don't menu here, but I think Marathon Safety is probably a good bet to heal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that is ORS spinner right there. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much he, when he turned, like, up, he, so he turned counterclockwise on me there. It's unfortunate. I'll just, uh, I'll play around a crit here and I'll just potion on this. No big deal. Um, the next Geodude is actually uh, 1 and 4, I think, to use rollout. Um, which does... I'm not sure what it does with this. 6, I think. Yeah, so it yeah. could definitely would have killed me there. 6. Okay. Yeah. So we actually mud slap this Geodude here. It has sturdy, so we just want to get that out of the way. Roll out miss. Lower its accuracy. Exactly. Oh, we avoided. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, so that's the second optional that we fight. Um, we shouldn't be fighting any more optionals at this, po at this point. Yeah, exactly. Um, we, uh... So optionals are actually very important as well. I am minus speed plus defense. So if you have, if you don't really know what your nature is, by the time you get to that fight right there, when you do that mini right there, you can actually see your stats and actually your nature as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. 
Let me actually grab a clip of that. This fight, I'm gonna actually just wait. Where's Rock Tomb? It's here. So my speed is bad, so we're just gonna Rock Tomb this right away. Get faster than it, and that will also allow us to be able to three shot it with just water gunning it two more times. Yeah. This is a point in the game where uh, you can take two strategies. Um, if your Mudkip is fast enough, you can just skip teaching Rock Tomb. Uh, and you can just kind of get by with three Water Guns with good enough special attack as well. Um, you skip Rock Tomb. You can also, uh, for some uh, some Zubat fights, you will just use Tackle. Um, it saves some time of just uh, teaching the move. And uh, another way that we can just kind of tweak some time here and there uh, for Omega Ruby. It's not really available in Alpha Sapphire. It's pretty cool because that repel we just got it actually we use it as soon as we go in the cave and then it'll last us right to where we need it to right out of that grass and then we're just done with it nice little repel okay so see. more cutscenes Yes, more cutscenes. Yeah, the first like 40 minutes of the game is pretty much standard. You have to die, you don't. Really, the only two outcomes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, so we're relaxed nature. 20 to 27 IB speed, minus speed. So it's actually not that bad. Pretty sure what that means is we're just gonna have to take a hit on the Grobile, probably. On Rival 2. Which isn't that big of a deal. It's one in it's one in four to kill us, I believe. So we'll just save. It, yeah, so it's no big deal if we die there. Um I was more worried I about my speed being really way worse than it is, so we definitely can make this work. I mean I I've ran worse. My, like, what, 0 to 19 minus? Uh, 20 to 28 minus. This is my IV calc thing. Yeah, that's what I am right now. Right? Oh, yeah, I think the cutoff is 23. So it's still a chance that we can not take a hit. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah, I mean... It's been a couple months since I've played this game, but that does ring a bell, actually. It's actually cool that, uh, you know, it's unfortunate circumstances, but this is my, one of my favorite speedruns, so I'm actually pretty glad I get to play it. You gotta go up there, okay. All right. One of the so upcoming... we're gonna head, yeah, oh. we're heading over here. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, one of the upcoming gym battles, I I decky one of the worst, and just like all you just pretty much guaranteed to lose. Mm -hmm. Especially with this mudkip, I'm seeing what, fifty percent range. Yeah, it has low sweep, which is kill. Uh, it has foresight. Was it a uh, focus energy and low sweep? And exactly. Much, yeah. You use focus energy and just pretty much always crits you. Yeah, it technically also has Karate Chop, which it just never uses. It's just yeah, that is funny, though, that has Karate Chop, but it never uses it. <laughs> Listen, really such a good move, yeah. There's no reason to use it. I'm gonna do some stuff. Gonna grab that Silk Scarf. It's actually very important for this gym. Um, since we are gonna be using Echoed Voice. Oh, that Silk Scarf. Between yeah, this and just... uh, Alpha Sapphire, is you grab the Super Repel and Omega Ruby here. You don't pick this up and off Sapphire. Yeah, if I could have done a little earlier planning, I probably would have done early shop, but it's no big deal. I mean, I don't think a super potion would really save me in a decky in this situation with this yeah. speed. So we'll see. Yeah, Alpha Sapphire would usually 
uh, do a shopping in Rustboro. Um, we pick up repels and super potions. Oh. Um, Not great. Yeah. Uh, Alpha Sapphire is it's just a little Please bit more dangerous out. at the museum, so we'll like to have super potions. Omega Ruby is just safer after this, so tend not to use it. it got a little lucky there. It got confused by confusion, ten percent, but hit through, hit through, hit through confusion twice, and then snapped out on the next turn. So. All right, so we're gonna go to go into. Wait, where am I going? This way. Oh, that was a little scary. Uh, did not heal. Yes, yeah, so this is the, yeah. the big yeah, reset is, point in the game. Yeah, this is without a doubt the hardest fight in the game, and the biggest reset point for sure, besides Mudkip. Yeah, unfortunately for us, our special attack, I think, is a little bit lacking. <laughs> so uh, it, it's it's just under a coin flip for us to three-shot. And if you don't three-shot this uh, Machop, your chances of winning like drop drastically. Exactly. So we got low-sweet turn one. It's not great. Foresight turn two. That was a decent roll, second turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's so unfortunate. We literally uh, won from there, I think. Oh. It was, assuming we got the range, which is a big assumption, obviously. But that was a natural crit. That was the one way we die in that situation. Yeah. Um, I think it was that either way. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good second roll there. Unfortunate. And that would have been hype. First try, Hideki. Yeah. All the homies hate Hideki. Hideki is very much alive, T Pat. <laughs> Got foresight turn one. That's actually the best thing that could happen. Yep. Uh, I'm not confident in this range. All right, nice, uh, nice, nice, nice. All right, second try, Hideki. No. Okay. Yeah, we take those. Hey, absolutely, we take those. Uh, I need to find out where I'm going. Yes. First of yeah. all. <laughs> Get a heal here. I'll make it up with a the diagonal. There we go. They really are getting so like it's that's it's really the worst feeling on Hideki. Whenever you get through, you think you're gonna win, and then you get just naturally crit, and then you lose. It's actually, the worst. Me personally, I really despise the split um, between Hideki and then the two trainer fights besides Hideki. Uh, there's a lot of variance that I find. Uh, I'll have like run and then I'll be like like minus 30 for my PB and then I'll end up like plus 30 after the split uh, just mm -hmm. because it all depends on how the Hideki fight goes and then how many like detects or like, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of ways the fights can go. Yeah, and it wastes a lot of time. <laughs> um. Normally, I wouldn't say for Brawly, but I've definitely died to Brawly before. Brawly's not is, an, is a pretty hard fight to die to, I would say. But you know, we might as well just go a little safely. And saving super fast, so yeah, definitely be using that a bunch throughout the run. Yeah, so there is actually a version of this fight. If you have a really good special attack, you can actually go in with this fight without taking off the silk scarf. What that'll do is um. It'll pretty much put the Machop into heal range. So you'll hit the Machop two times. It'll heal. And you hit it again. And then I think you hit it. I think you you either three or four shot it. And then it, but pretty much what it does is it helps set up a potential one shot on the Makuhita. Maybe you one shot it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Basically, we're 
going to take off the Silk Scarf because Makahita has a move Definitely going to heal there, for sure. Yeah. Knock off just increases power and puts us in death range if we are, don't want to be in. So uh, avoiding any right, attacks nice. from Makahita is good. Very, very, very happy to be out of this gym, so <laughs> yeah. cannot complain about that at all. So I need to... Yeah, just potion and super pill. Please go in. What what was the special attack at level fifteen? Uh, I really don't. Uh, I I missed when, 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 when I misclicked it, it. It messed it up really really uh, bad. So right. I didn't. Let me, let me go back and check because I think that it depends on or it's a uh, normal range special attack. Eight special attack neutral. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll still go plus four, I suppose, just because. No reason not to. Oh, all these cutscenes. And my speed also. Probably 20 to 27 negative. Yeah, because if it's twenty, if it's twenty-one or twenty-one minus, I think I need to X speed only once. We won't Actually, I, I can just it. yeah, I can just yeah. level up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there is a strat where you can actually skip this PB up coming up on this on the beach. Um, it's a cool little strat. There's a, a not a crazy amount of time, but I mean. 10-15 seconds ruby like, only. Yeah, definitely. Can't normally... Uh... It's normally something you see, you know, people when they're going for, uh, you know, a top time or something like that. Uh, you'll see them skip this PP up. Because, I mean, saving 10-15 seconds, you know, at a top level is pretty big. So... Got whatever I was going. Well, we're not going to Pedalburg yet. <laughs> not yet. Thank, thank goodness. So we're gonna have this soft sand, a very important piece. Definitely need this. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be marsh stomp soon, and we're gonna rely on some ground moves. Uh, range is a lot better with soft sand; gives plus twenty percent to our uh, ground attack moves. Exactly. We just appreciate slight port music. It's just <laughs> banger after banger. True. And this upcoming fight in Alpha Sapphire is also just another painful one. Because the Zubat is, it confuses you. It just... And the Caravanas. Ugh. Yeah. It, it's a nightmare on Alpha Sapphire. It's a lot manageable in Omega Ruby. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially with Rock as well. That up a lot. <laughs> Just, you know, it's a pain in Alpha Sapphire. It's manageable in Omega Ruby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're Team Magma, obviously, so we're going to be seeing Nummel instead of Carvana. But even the Zubat in this fight, uh, 
this the second grunt that we're gonna fight has a Zubat and it's even though Mega Ruby it's slower and it has less bulk. So we're more likely to outspeed it and more likely to one shot it with Rock Tune than uh, Alpha Sapphire. So even the the same instances of Pokemon are harder in Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, that normal that we just finished off, uh, unfortunately, uh, I think it's like a 1 in 16 range with uh, yeah. not good. And my attack's pretty bad too. I don't yeah. think I'm going to get this range either. Yeah. There's like a huge drop off like between uh, certain special attacks where it's like either a 1 out of 16 or like a 12 out of 16. Yeah. And Very so good miss. Yeah. Wow, and it died. Good. Yeah. I would say that's right probably there. like a, I don't know, maybe a 50 50 range. That was a plus zero to speed there. I think I actually do have minus. 18. So it's, you're not going to find out it's a thing. If it was a 19, it'd be 26, 27. But now they find out basically nothing about it. Nice. This cutscene always terrified me. Mm-hmm. Uh, controller strats. Yeah. The DS. <laughs> I definitely oh, learned from like one before. Xbox actually yeah. starts the evolution too. I always forget. Um, gonna get mud shot and teach this. Very good move. Mud shot in this game is actually special. Um, or in the earlier games, it's physical, I believe. Uh, it's, it's a difference between the earlier Gijins in this game. In the shin. That split. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to buy here. Yes. Or should, you said it was 19 at 16, right? 19 uh, speed? It was 18 speed. Oh, it was 18. Yikes. Yes. Like, I'll probably just X speed it. twice anyways, just because. Yeah, I just played the lower case. speed. Yeah. We got the extra PP up, so might as well. Indeed. I'll just go seven. Uh. Oops. Yeah. yeah, so while, while Chili does the shopping, I'll just kind of briefly talk about what we're doing. We're just selling some items that we got, including the bomb mushroom that we picked up. Um, Chili picked up the PP up also that gives us some extra money. Uh, crucial items that we need, X speeds, uh, X attacks, and then uh, X special attack. Um, the X speed and X special attacks will depend on our stats. Our stats are not good, so we're going to be getting extra X speeds and extra X special attacks. We're also going to be picking up uh, super potions and super repels, um, simply just because we have the extra money since we did sell the PP up. Uh, Anyways, you got to make sure you have 10k going to uh, Marvel to buy Bulldoze, which is just carried you. Indeed. Yep. And another cutscene. <laughs> bought like max. I didn't buy max items there. But like that was pretty close. I might. I didn't Worst see what my final money is. In Marvel. Yeah, I could also just sell a potion or something. A but I have to worship a time, potion. But... Yeah. I'll probably just have to. If I'm a little short, I could just sell a super potion or a potion. But right at bulldoze and grab it. Yeah, it it was very. Yeah, I thought I did. I mean, it, I was I was second guessing myself. I'm not used to buying um, that many X items there with the PP up. So my money just looked a little different. Just more cutscenes. This run, which if this, ah, this, I just not a big fan of this part. No. <laughs> this game would be sub two hours at all the cutscenes. Well, not, not that bad, <laughs> but it feels like it. Definitely a good amount of time, though. 
It's not even the cousins, it's the fact that it's a mash through them. That's the real pain. Alright, so we're gonna fight this lady. Um, <laughs> she. Our special attack isn't great, so I think it's not gonna be good here. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is the plus one Actually, minus. We'll see. Uh, it's fine. Wow, okay, good crit. And that can't do any damage to you, so that's all it's yeah. Exactly. The more annoying part, I guess, is just. You're missing the two shot, you know, and then it gets its Ornberry back, and then it uses it, and then. Yeah, this, this piece is not looking good. Uh, I <laughs> miss. Just like that. Uh. Critting so much, it's actually crazy. So I don't need to heal, I just need to equip Silk Scarf and... Super Potion, or Super Pill. Aw, oh, she got in my way. Shouldn't mess with this cycle too hard. Close, but... I'm gonna go ahead and just save right here, because... You know, this fight is can be really annoying, especially... It can't, I mean... Assuming, you know, your stats aren't horrible and, you, you know, you don't have to, like, YOLO, skip an X speed or give the Grow Viola a turn, this fight's pretty easy, but this Slugma can kind of be annoying and it can burn you and, yeah. And then Omega Ruby, that's more frustrating because you don't have super potions in the... Yeah, usually you skip up route. the PPF, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My bad, I'm just stumbling over my words. Oh, no, you got it. Rock that was actually nice. So that's plus two. It's three. Gotta set up a lot here. Four. Harden's very good, very fast. Yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and just... Because why not? Yeah, with Gen 6, with way, how fast the text moves, getting moves, you know, any setup moves, it's just how it's just crazy fast. So like, fence moves, offense, like you know, Leer, Harden in this fight, for example. Oh, at least now another speed 22. No, you could have skipped the. Uh... Actually, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, do the plus two speed anyway. Yeah, very nice. All right, cool. Yeah, so the reason you set up all those is just so you can one-shot that Grovile like that. Yeah, Grovile has Mega Drain, and that yeah. kills us, essentially. <laughs> We're exactly. four times weak to grass. Definitely happy to be past Brendan, though. It can definitely be a uh, one of the more annoying fights in the early game, sometimes. Yeah. Running this game, there's a huge wave of relief for me after Brendan, because uh, yeah. Marvel tends to be a little bit safer and stuff like that, so it's my time to, like, mentally just, like, relax a little bit. Yeah. This spinner is the worst for me, because it's so hard for me to on my tiny 3DS screen. My vision is just terrible, so I hit. Can you put it the level berry here? Just yeah. The... So the way spinners in this game, like, they can be pretty annoying. But if you if you sit there and just wait for them, they're pretty easy to pass. But those spinners specifically can be very uh, annoying because of the way the you know the angle of your screen is set up. They're just so far away. It's so weird. And you don't need to love berries until 
quite a bit more to go. Exactly. So those lipo berries, are, we're definitely gonna need them. A little, you know, it's this is a cool little strap we'll use later. For some reason I thought the cutscene started right there. Hey. Gonna get our mock bike. Also, go, gonna go pick up a move. Gonna carry us. Fifty-eight dollars left. Just perfect money. <laughs> pretty cool thing about this route. Yeah, it might be pretty uh, tight. Clip the soft sand. I'm gonna turn off this. Uh, teach bulldoze. Yeah, Bulldoze is the move you don't really you don't get in the normal in the uh, originals. The super that run would be move. crazy if you could. Yeah, no but kidding. uh, yeah, Bulldoze is a really really good move, mainly because it's 100 percent accurate and Mudshot is not. And also, Bulldoze is physical. Yeah, Mudshot physical is special. Physical is 60 power and it hits multiple targets, which will prove useful in a double fight that we have coming up. It's Ralts. I'm not sure what the range is. My attack's 3 to 4, so it's not fantastic. Yeah, yeah. My notes but... say 7 to 16. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... Close. Are you in the Ranger notes? Uh, I just used the one All right, I um, use. Yeah. I know you use the Google Docs. What? Oh, yeah. I, I just have the notes pulled up. Yeah. Yeah, so normally that Ralts, if you have a uh, good enough attack, you'll just one shot it. But not this time. Yeah. Which isn't it's like one... that big of a deal. It's not it's not very threatening. It's just it can lose you a little bit of time by not one shotting it. Yeah, it's it's one of the instances where uh, it's a reason why runners don't like to take thirteen attack is it exactly. puts us in a lot of those situations. They're not deadly, so they are technically runnable, but we do miss a lot of ranges and those ranges add up when your, you know, margin is thin at top level. Yeah, exactly. Like riding a bike. Just uh, mache the gym. Yeah, bulldoze a lot. I actually think my speed's so bad where I'm not even gonna outspeed the. Yeah, that's where my speed really hurts. Am I? Is the magneton faster than me? It might be actually. No, I think you're safe. If if you if you outspeed Grovile, you should be safe. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, fair. Makes sense. Yeah. So crazy how you can go from knowing, you know, I feel like knowing like every little detail and then you just forget. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, getting past rival two for me in a PB attempt is like really what I like. Like that's my goal in runs. That's like you know. Let's get a run past rival two, and then then we're actually playing the game a little bit. And also, when you get past rival two, that's where a you know like a good plus attack mudkip will really thrive. So you know, just a lot of ranges getting sealed and a couple fights, uh, less setup turns and stuff like that. Yeah, this this fight isn't a good example of uh, you know, just like moves in general. Like the fact that it just used that uh, I forget what move it is, but it's like a setup move. It's just really fast. Yeah, and like moves missing like that, just 
something really cool about Gen 6. Gen 6 and 7, I really like how the mashing feels on uh, these games, the 3DS games. <laughs> Watson's a pretty easy fight. Nothing too crazy about him. Yeah. I think Watson is like the only one where you have like almost zero chance of dying. I think I managed to die once. If you skip back speed, that's the realistically the only way you yeah, die. That's fine. Yeah. Unless your speed's horrible. Um, and there is some times where, you know, it runs really bad and I'm just like, alright, let me yellow Watson real quick and just skip yeah. the sex speed. Just like save a turn. Yeah, Magneton has supersonic, and it'll use that since it outspeeds you, and then you'll get confused, you'll hit yourself, and you can die. So many crits going around today. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah, and again, you had a, I don't know if I said it, but that magna, that Magnemite has a Sturdy, so we Air Force to Water Gun it and then Bulldoze it. It would easily die to Bulldoze, obviously. We're Thank actually God not going to outspeed this. Thank God the Magneton doesn't have Sturdy. <laughs> exactly, that would be... Not great. Alright, pass Watson. Got some movement coming up. Hopefully I can, uh... More movement, more cuts. Do it alright. Yeah, more more content. Are you gonna unmount at this, the, the pass? Uh, I don't think I am. I, I mean, it's just nice. muscle memory. I'm just gonna go straight for it. Go for it, it, yeah. Alright, so I'm on Rock Smash already. My bag. Or I'm on TMs. So you have a 1 in 3 chance to get an encounter here in this rock. Another 1 in 3 to get an item. Uh, 1 in yeah, 3 well. for nothing. One th nothing is the best. Uh, thanks, Messed you know, it up, nothing. but uh, we'll try to redeem ourselves next time. You get a yeah. free heal here. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a 1 tile gap. It's, it's pretty tough to hit, but uh, yeah, you can build the muscle memory to that and can pretty easily do it after you practice a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I forgot about More this guy's cycle. Dodge here. Yeah. Go grab these person doors. berries. Yeah. yeah. So awkward. like the worst. Uh, gonna save for this guy. Yeah, I save too. It's, it's such a pain when you get if you get uh paralyzed. Yeah, this fight can be really annoying, especially with my attack being what it is right now. Oh, true. Yeah, Maka he does a range. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna X attack on this though. Seven to sixteen, plus one. Uh, a little backup strat if you don't trust the uh. Big on range, you can just X attack on this. Yeah. You usually the big on range. Yeah. Usually Makahita goes for fake out. It's the third Pokemon that comes out, and you use that turn to set up the X attack. But uh, in this case, our special attack is not good, so we need the extra X attack to get a two shot on Bagon. Alright. Exactly. 
So hopefully, you know. I mean, I mean, if he didn't use fake out, he'd be chilling. That never happens though. Yeah. Yeah, it's just n nothing like getting a run past Watson just to uh, get trolled by uh, Wilton. But I got nice. past him pretty smoothly. Very nice. Yeah. Got some more mashing stuff coming up. Now the cuts. In my opinion, the most pointless part of the. You don't love secret bases? No, man. It's just. <laughs> they introduced a character just to do this. I love it. Our vagabond friend, Uncle Arun. But I get it, you know, gotta show yeah. it off somehow. And that's just a speedrunner in me wanting to go faster. Yeah, saving in this game is actually quite fast, but, you know, any other setting beside a marathon, you know, I don't save there for sure. Yeah, the way I look at this run is it's really set up in three different sections. Oh, there's three different parts of the run where the run just kind of like resets and um, just movement really fast. Yeah. And there's a and I enjoy uh, the mushroom section, but it's not as enjoyable to me as later in the game. I love the last two the most. My favorite trainer coming up, youngster Neil. True. So normally this trap inch on this fight, uh, if your attack's decent enough, you can actually one shot it. There's, I don't think there's any chance we one shot it with this attack, which is fine. Uh, maybe we just crit. And getting this range is kind of—I mean, it's not again, it's not threatening to the run by any means. By missing this range, it's just a little slow. Bulldoze is actually the best move it can use. Yeah, it helps us dig, which is just annoying. Uh, I shouldn't use that, but it's fine. Oh, yeah. Should... Use your just... rock smash. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, I can just take the, the free heal at the lady. It's not a big deal. A little safety. Okay. This movement is probably the trickiest movement in the run, I would say. It scares me the most. It's why... There's also another strat where you can... Why oh, that's coming up? To say it there. Right, easy. Yeah, there's some trainers hiding in those piles. Um, if you cut your corners a little bit too close, they pop out, and you have to fight some bad fights. Exactly. So we avoid that. There's a very bad fight. There's a trainer yeah. that has three coffees. Just <laughs> you know, you know, you just know that pain. I fight run and die there. True Overwatch runner. You fight that trainer? Yeah. I've run into it. It's terrible. You just reset. You have no good movies against coughing. Potentially, I might just save for the next fight, just add a little bit of safety. Be chilling. Yeah, I'm gonna be picking up a comet shard. We're gonna sell that and get a lot of money from it. Uh, that was kind of unfortunate. The uh, got a weird cycle on that kid. I wasn't yeah. really to risk that.
Also, speaking of bad optionals to hit, that one has a Machop, oh and that Machop is a nightmare if you hit it, so we tend to take it pretty safe with that. Definitely could argue not saving for this fight, but might as well. Yeah, I'm a fan of playing it safe. Yeah, I think I think this double battle is a lot more manageable in Omega Ruby. I don't know Definitely if that's actually is, yeah. the case. Yeah. I mean, mainly because you don't have to set up in this on this fight. Or yeah. Alpha Sapphire, you have to set up the next attack, I believe. Yeah. 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 The coughing right here will always just self destruct, and so we just don't have to deal with it. But Alpha Sapphire has a a Grimer that is a little bit harder to deal with. Snarl is really good. That's what you want to see. Yep. I wonder. If I'm faster after I drop at speed. The speed. I don't remember. The funniest thing is whenever uh, the coughing crits the mighty Anna and kills it for you. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Here. Oh, pursuit. At least we didn't get swaggered. Gosh, Crovile just not pulling his weight. Jeez. Literally, yeah. <laughs> we need you, dude. Like, um, hopefully he snaps out here though. Actually, I don't remember. This might just die. Okay, well he's just getting. Uh, wow, it's very unfortunate. Crovile just absolutely throwing. Yeah. Man, Brenda did nothing during that fight, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Come on, man. Maybe <laughs> helping the hand or something. Help me out. True, true double battles in Pokemon speedrunning. They're <laughs> they're never good, never good. Never. Our favorite boy Archie over here. Mm -hmm. I think that's my main reason I like Alpha Sapphire is I like Archie over Ma uh, Maxi. Archie's Gold so cool. Chain, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I like it. Yeah. bunch of mashing here so there is yeah, actually yeah. sometimes there is a couple there's two different ways you can do this next part coming up you can actually either say yes to brendan he'll take you back to mallville and you come up to mount chimney from uh mallville or you can say no to brendan to the teleport shop in uh Fallibor, or what's the town called i'm not sure yeah Fallibor. Oh. yeah oh. yeah you do that and then uh and then you just go backwards from the way we came and pass all those trainers again backwards. And what that does is that it's a little bit slower movement, but uh, it guarantees that you don't you can't get an encounter from the Rock Smash Rock. So that's something you'll see some runners do, yeah. depending on what they like. It's the similar situation that Truly mentioned earlier. By uh, After we leave Petalburg, we can go to the beach or through the grass. Um, it, it depends on what your risk tolerance is. that for some a lot of money yeah some cases uh there's an also an extra x defense we would pick up behind the statue the Kala statue uh in yeah. the center model uh but our defense is super super good so we will not be picking up that x defense yeah. uh, you use that on, one thing uh, this mudkip has going for it yeah it'd be an extra turn of setup on uh norman later but we do not need it And yeah, 
if if I was comfortable with doing it backwards, I don't mind doing it backwards. I yeah. can definitely do it. It's just I, I would have liked to do it. That would have been pretty cool. But yeah. on the two people tier going forward to go backwards. Yeah, the runners that uh, do backwards have been very adamant about backwards movement being good. And I think etiquette and may do backwards movement there. Redemption on the uh, yeah. movement there. Oh, swag. I got a really unfortunate cycle on this guy, but that's all right. Just wait, wait him out. There we go. Yeah, you want to play it extra safe on that guy because that he is also an aura yeah. spinner, a rotator. <laughs> if you in the wrong exactly. position, he'll see you. Mm -hmm. No real good cue for me there. Like he just comes up, you come up on him, and he's either you know looking right or looking left. It's just. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get into these fights. Um, yeah, I, you saw I taught strength there. There used to be a strat, um, I believe. I forget what it was. I think we would X attack on this fight. Um, and that would allow us to do something. But pretty much what this coffin can be really annoying because it has smoke screen. And we're, we're not gonna. We have to three shot it, so. It's 50 50 to use smoke screen and it can just really troll you. Um. And I think the old strategy didn't give it as many turns. I don't remember though. I'm not too sure. So we did get smoke screen once. Um, that's fine. Okay, now we're just being trolled a little bit. This is a thing. This is happening. Uh... Okay. It lived on literally what? one. Oh my oh goodness. My oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, thank gosh. Goodness. Yeah, so I think my accuracy drops to 60 after two smoke screens. Like that. And then, yeah, but that was really unfortunate. And that's why that fight can suck. The good thing, though, we're in self destruct range. True. Yeah, just. Get that out. I'm going to play around the crit here, though, and just heal on the first turn. I don't know, not want to die to a crit, that would be very unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to super potion this. Yeah, so pretty much what we need this coffin to do is use self destruct. So pretty much it's what we're just hoping it just, hoping it just uses it. I've tried so many times to figure out why this fight just is the way it is, but there's just no way to really manipulate him to use self-destruct. Yeah. Well, we got it there, so we're chilling. That fight can also lose you a lot of time. That's and that's also a, one of the main differences there in uh, between Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. There's yeah. It stretches a lot worse than Omega Ruby just because of those coughings. Uh, we just put a Persian. And save, why not? Attack's not great, so this could be a thing on this fight, maybe. Yeah, it looks like. So you saw me equip a Persian there. We're actually going to use that to our advantage in this fight. Um. We want to set up, we want to get, you know, to plus. I think the goal is to get to either plus three or plus four on this fight. And it just happens that this Mighty Knight has Swagger, so we're just going to try to pretty much, you know, get Swagger from it. Uh, let me think. Just 
So yeah, I'll try to thought in the middle of the sentence. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to set up. I'm going to set up two X speeds because my speed's really bad. And then ideally it's you swagger at least once by then and I'm plus one. So we'll see. Fortunately, the Mighty Ana has Intimidate that you saw. Um, Alpha Sapphire has Quick Feet so you don't get the minus one drop. So we have an extra X attack that we need to do. The swagger is coming in. Yar. Plus one. Plus one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and throw on another X attack here. I do have the extras. I avoided it. Whatever. We'll just... Probably should have actually attacked on that turn. Yeah, I kind of messed up. That's fine. Should have attacked. And then I probably would have got swagger again. But I think I'm like plus five. Maybe plus six at this point. Yeah, I should just die. Yeah, again. okay. I think I was plus five. So yeah, that worked out. My attack's really bad, so I don't mind actually taking the extra setup turns there. Yeah. Guarantee all these ranges. Yeah. So ideally, that fight that fight can go really fast if you if it goes right, if you just get the the right combination of when getting swaggers on the right turns and stuff. Um, I need to equip the soft sand, and I'll just I'm gonna take the free heal from the lady just because. Yeah. Peep, uh, the, we use Bulldoze a lot, and so uh, the PP can get a little tight on that, so uh, the free heal is nice, so we don't Indeed, have to worry yeah. about that. Shout out to uh, Head Bob. He really uh, helped optimize this route Yeah. over the past couple of years. And one of the, one of the big things being the PP route in this section where... It pretty much allows you to uh, have the perfect amount of bulldozes if you use the correct amount throughout this whole section. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. You really I always come like out. PP routes like that. Yeah. Literally, you come out of the Mudkip section with like 0 to 1 PP exactly. on bulldozes. Yeah. It's, it's a nice feeling. Not going to have to worry about it this time, though. Close. Hell's gonna be a little off now, but that's okay. It's gonna be using it a little bit early. Can we just yeah. hold down on this yeah. section? It's a good Another feeling. Another difference <laughs> right here between Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby. Uh, we have to get this move right here coming up. God move. Swords Dance. Swords Dance not really going to matter for us right now, but it'll definitely uh, matter later. So yeah. when we get there, we'll definitely talk about it. Yeah, getting that Swords Dance that early is awesome for, uh, for trade alt mains. If you can get a Pokemon that learns Swords Dance this early, it's, it's pretty pretty yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And I do these, I do these little spinners here different than... Uh, most people, I feel like, uh, pretty much what I do is like, all right, I got a weird cycle in this guy. It's unfortunate. Just wait him out. So pretty much like these spinners are guaranteed to spin at least once whenever you like you come down off these lifts or whatever they are. So pretty much I just like walk diagonal one tile and then see where they spin and then react off that. Like I walk down, wait, and then we'll spin and then we go. No need to like run off that pad like that, opinion. I didn't equip the soft sand. It shouldn't matter actually for this fight. I'm gonna equip it though. I forgot to equip soft sand before uh, <laughs> the gym leader. Definitely need to run yeah, planary or want to use it for planary. It. Yeah. <laughs> and now have it highlighted should definitely super die regardless, I would say. Yeah, that's Easy. the main thing we use it for is, or we need it for is for that. Torkoal. Where am I in the bag? Uh, soft sand. Um, don't need a safer Flannery. It's a pretty easy fight. Also can just bulldoze the Slugma. This Slugma is one of the places where you can actually save a bulldoze if you don't need to... Um, or if you need to save one. 
which yeah. we don't need to right now but yeah you can use mudshot but again mudshot is not 100 percent accurate so uh if you can avoid using mudshot you do but exactly. if your pp is tight go ahead and use it No setup needed for this fight. Turns out having a ground type versus fire type is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> the Torkoal will be a range though. I believe it's like 90, probably 95-ish like percent. Roughly 96, 95, something like that. That was not a fantastic roll. Uh, I'm gonna just go for it though, because the strange is very favored. Wow, I missed it. It's crazy. It's really unfortunate. Unfortunate. Punished for going for the range, but no big deal. I didn't take any damage, so I don't have to heal anyways. It lived on literally one. Yeah, it's rough. It's, uh, but that's that's about uh, how that fight goes. Um, unfortunately, usually you want a two shot with mud shot, but fortunately we didn't get the range this time. But come out all right. Yep. So now we're gonna head into the second worst gym in the game, I would say. Yeah. Probably varies from person to person. Some some people might say this is the worst gym in the game. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna take a ride down here real quick. <laughs> I, say, I do that too. It's the worst. Yeah. Um, I'm in it for this gym. Yeah, I kind of want to get like heart rate data while I play Alpha Sapphire. I want to <laughs> see where it's the worst. Yeah, I used to have a heart rate monitor, but yeah. I just got lazy with it. Norman's gym might be it because you're like pretty anxious to get done with the mudkip section, and it is kind of a exactly. stressful gym. But... It stops it for me because I'm so uh, I'm dreading the next section. <laughs> yeah. Omega Ruby, though, you want to get to the Latios. You're cruising at that point. Yeah, we were playing on a 3DS uh, with the capture card built into the 3DS. I am sorry. Did I ever equip... Oh, I didn't equip the soft sand, I think, is the problem. Oh, you did. I did? Okay. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, right? Fortunate? I'm not sure. I didn't even mention, do you need to do it? Yeah, I think I mentioned it, but I might not have done it. I'll just check out of this fight. I should have checked. Yeah. Not that big of a deal here. This fight can actually be kind of annoying, though, with uh, the Del Caddy. Okay. That looks like a good enough roll. I feel like I have it on. Yeah, it has a track, so if you're uh Wow. Oh it didn't track. Okay. Yeah. I definitely yeah. have to have it on. There's no way I don't three shot this yeah. without that thing being on. Soft sand. HP's high enough, I'm not gonna heal going into this next fight. Should be fine. I can just heal if I get in range. I have really good defense. Normally, I wouldn't be comfortable not sit or like healing for this fight sometimes. That support's really good. Three stripes is fine. Two hit. Oh yeah, we, we do have soft sand equipped. <laughs> Got yeah, definitely. There. 100%. Yeah. Thank you for the confirmation. I thought I did, I just like, was just yeah. second guessing myself so hard for some reason. Yeah. I was like, 
So I just had to really think about the roles I got on that Torkoal, and it's like, they were both not great. Okay, so this Zigzagoon coming, or this Zangoose fight right here. Uh, let me go ahead and heal for it. Yeah. So it, fun it fact looked... about this fight, you actually cannot die to this fight, assuming you have, you know... A runnable at least, <laughs> Yeah, runnable defense, like not, like, assuming you have runnable defense, um, you cannot die to this fight. Yeah, it, it, it looks scary uh, because it's the crit gym, uh, gym leader, or the, the trainer. Uh, it, you do get crit, but you're always safe. Yeah, because it's always going to use a dire hit on the first turn, and then we outspeed, yep. and then we hit it again. Even if it crits us, that crit will never kill us. Yeah, so Again, assuming right runnable defense. <laughs> yeah. We get close, but not quite. Yeah, I've lived on very low HP there yeah. before. <laughs> <laughs> Just... That's what I'm saying. I want to track heart attack, uh, heart rate data. Jim just is a little just kind of weird like that. Now we have Norman coming up. Definitely, uh, Norman's not too hard of a fight. It's really called just don't get crit. That's, the, yeah. that's what I call this fight. That's what it is. There's so many turns of setup too at the, at this point. Like it's it's certainly even if you save before, you, you really don't want to die because it's just so much setup that you don't want to have to go through again. And again, our speed is pretty bad, so we have an extra X speed that we are, we're going to use. Yep. Exactly. So, like, if you have a good enough mud kit, you, there's sometimes you can skip not only one of the X speeds, but one of the X attacks you have to use as well. So you can skip two whole turns with setup if your mud kit's good enough. Which is pretty cool. We're going to head in X defense right away. Uh, sometimes your your defense is bad enough where you have to get that second extra defense that uh, Grouch was talking about. And you would just use both of them here. I'm gonna get some encores, please. Yeah, please. No, bad, oh. bad slacking. One. Nice. This is number three. Four. Oh, very good. So I'm going to go ahead and stall on this turn. Because you always want to wake up on this fight. Uh, you always want to wake up on an attacking turn. And the reason that is, is so you cannot get Yawn. Uh, if you wake up on a uh, turn where it's loafing around, it gives it, a, it gives it another turn to attack you. And then it can use Yawn again. And then... Yeah. And then, yeah, so, and then you're asleep on the the bigger Roth, and then it can get really, really, really yeah. annoying. And so this is another instance where having bad stats is kind of not good, because if we had a good enough speed in that instance, we wouldn't have needed that stall good turn. HP, by the way. 28. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't have needed that stall turn, and so we could have saved the turn there. Um, and so there's just another instance of a good Mudkip saving time throughout, as the, throughout the time, uh, throughout as the run goes on. We're going to heal the full. Don't get crit. Yeah, this yeah. is... This is a scary. Good job. Easy. And that is pretty much and Norman. That is Norman. Yep, and that is all the mud section section as well. Which is pretty cool. Definitely happy to get through mud section with yeah. this mud kit. So, I, I mean, it, it got the job done. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> And it's like the biggest difference between uh, Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby is Latios and Latias. It makes yep. a, such a huge difference. Like, like if it's, is, uh, is, yeah, go ahead, sorry. With Latias, it's like everything's a range coming up, unless you get a really good one. Exactly. Or even if it's Latios, the worst one, yeah. it's still fine. This is, this is really where the consistency between Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire starts to show up, is this... The difference between Latios and Latios is that big. It's just actually crazy. Yeah. Like the worst Latioses are still pretty, pretty, pretty good Latios. <laughs> yeah, like, 
Like the worst slot of the 77 special attack, the best slot he has is 88. Yeah, like I think there was something like, like a like a just a mediocre Latios, is like a crazy good Latios. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I run Alpha Sapphire, I look for like an 80 special attack on Latios, and that's like almost guaranteed with Latios. Um, I do need to heal. Heal and teach surf. So I'm going to swim across here. We're going to talk to Steven. He's going to take us to get our next main Pokemon. And then another third of the run. The midpoint. Yep. But again, this is like, you know, like I said, I like separating this run into three separate parts. Like, and this is really where the second part of the run starts when you get the Latios. The good thing about this game though is like a Latios can be is it can be it can be pretty bad and still be good enough to get you through the game. So whereas like a really, really bad Latios, it's it it it, it can get rough. Yeah. I think there are actually some ranges on like Aqua Admin at that or Matt that are just like not good and you just pretty much die because Sharpedo will yeah. ice fang you. So there's like an extra rare candy that you have to get and at that point it's just like why bother? <laughs> <laughs> True. Right. Yeah, Latias is card stacked against it, unfortunately. Okay. The best uh, Team Magma member right here, Courtney. Yep. It's not close. Yeah, okay, again, another. Surf here. Nice HP on Marsh Stomp. Oh, it's 89, 69. <laughs> I wanted to believe it was 69, but it's 89. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, another instance where the fight in Omega Ruby is a lot easier just because we can uh, surf the camera up. Exactly. And it's a little bit more manageable. Uh, again, we have Sharpedo. Really, yeah, really annoying on Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, Sharpedo's harder than camera. Yeah, cool little fun fact. If you have really good special attack, like crazy plus special attack nature, and you come out of uh, Norman and Torrent, you can actually go into this fight into torrent and then just one shot the yeah. camera up. That's super sick. That just like saves the healing and stuff. So now we're yeah. officially done with Mudkip. You Everyone, round of, round of applause and yep. chat from Mudkip. Or Mudkip had the not the best stats, but he managed. Hey. Okay. Right. All right, got to get ready to get those Latio stats. Yeah. I'm getting my screenshot open. <laughs> Same. Okay. 
Also some items here that we're just gonna breeze right by in this game, but an Alpha Sapphire here, actually pretty essential to grab. Yeah, this is definitely where the routes in both games start to just separate big yep. time. Yeah, even like the uh, the battles that we face here, we don't really have any route trainers that we're gonna face uh -huh. at this point. It'll all be uh, magma grunts. So even the fight the fights that we see between Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby are completely different. That's uh. Oh, that is modest. Sick. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> really making up for that mud kid. Let's go, Latios. Speed's not fantastic, but I mean, that's not the end of the world with uh, yeah. Latios. Literally max special attack. <laughs> Yeah, so the cool thing about the legendaries you get in this game is they all come with uh, three set 31 IVs, so. As it is in like every game. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, not that bad. 17 to 19 neutral speed. Yeah, I'll take it. Definitely good enough, absolutely. Uh, Submerge. Let me make up a little bit of time here with this. Crap. I think he's hypotic. Yeah, so the, like there's not that many things that can be ranges. Um Unless your special attack is just really, really bad with Latios. Which is which is really nice though. Just brings that consistency. Whereas like you could have good special attack with uh Latios and it's still is that a crit? I thought it was. <laughs> Our special right, attack. Yeah, is I, I was like, not, yeah. it like a, I was like, that's got to be a crit. And yeah, I forgot geez. I have max special attack. I don't think I've ever had a max special attack, Latios. Yeah, I don't ever. think so either. Definitely gonna help a bunch for some fights later. Save us some setup and stuff. It's actually pretty cool though that uh, I get to play off a of Sapphire that way whenever uh, Fortunate gets to do his run. Um, gets to show the difference. Okay, let's see. And the MVP of our party cast form here. <laughs> True. But that Mystic Water is so great. Yeah. With, uh, especially with Kyogre too. To the yeah, benefit good. of Sapphire. Yeah. Good. Good. Good thing we need the Mystic Water here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, benefit of Sapphire. I think we we do oh. still use it on Ladio, so it's it's not all for nothing. Pretty sure with this uh, special attack, I can skip an X. I can I can skip an X spec on a uh, Winona. Fate and Liza as well. Yeah. I could just lead Surf and then X spec on the second turn, probably. Maybe it's better to do it on the first turn. I think it's skipping the. What do I do? Surf. Yeah. Also, cool little strat you can do on this fight to save a turn is to uh, when you have really good special attack, you can set up an X. 
uh, special attack right now. Um, and then that makes this a 13 and 16 range. And in this game, you know, you want to be setting up more than attacking. Because um, just setting up is so much faster than using an attacking move. Yeah. Yeah, what it ends up doing is we save a, a, a step here on Whalmer. Um, we're going to one-shot the Whalmer. And so, exactly. net benefit. Every second counts in a speedrun. Nothing too crazy here, just gonna do a little bit of movement. Let me go find Steven. Yeah, there's there's a Kecleon, an invisible Kecleon that's blocking the gym, so we need to get the uh the thing that lets us see it. Not 100 percent sure why it's relevant to the game, but <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> We just go with it. Candy Floss is very good, I can attest. <laughs> Jordan in shambles. <laughs> okay, I don't remember where I am in my bag. I'm probably on, probably on TMs. I think I'm on TMs actually, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. This is the best place to menu, obviously, to get this music. Yeah, we Let me give our Latios fly real quick. It's gonna come in handy. Don't actually use it in battle any in this game, but obviously need to get place to place very quickly. Yeah, thank God we don't. That is weird. And we're gonna get the Mystic Water to Latios there as well. Gonna help a lot. Yeah. So we mentioned that uh, Watson's gym is pretty safe. This is a uh, probably. Yeah. Arguably a safer gym, especially with this Latios, where there's almost nothing that can go wrong. I guess the the Swellow Troll is a little bit bad, but yeah. overall it doesn't ever get really too bad. And again, these spinners... Very easy to pass, as long as you just take your time. Probably could have got away with not healing there, but might as well. Yeah, we're modest nature, Tom. Pretty good. Our speed's not. Yeah. Our speed is good enough. It's seven. It's seventeen to nineteen neutral. So. Not fantastic, but definitely uh, good enough to get the job done. Again, our special deck being so good allows us to skip an extra setup turn here. Pretty nice. There's just evasiveness, it's just a pain. Yeah, so it's going to double team twice for 60% to hit this surf. We are missing. Nice. 
All right, good. Yep. And it's like that. That is a victory. So good stuff. The Skarmory or the, the whatever. The Swellow can definitely be the annoying part of this fight. Once you get past it, it's pretty nice, though. Yeah. Nice and cruising, nice and safety. A Skarmory can be a range if we have not fantastic special attack, but... I can always do an extra X special attack there, but... Yeah, uh, exactly. In this case, we don't have to. We are good. Truth bomb. This Pelipper usually always uses Protect there, yeah. so that's no big deal. A little troll. Sometimes you can get attacked a lot by the Swallow and be lower HP, and it likes to go for an attacking move, but usually just protects at least once. Um, I don't need the extra Persian Bush. I still have all my Persians, so we're chilling. Yep. I'll just have to skip one on the Frost Lass, which is not that big of a deal. Yeah, what am I playing? Am I playing Gen 3? Agatha? <laughs> Gotta hit that serve, two two double teams. Nice. Movement's not too hard there. Mainly if you know where you're going, it's pretty smooth. Yeah. And this there's a nice little free heal right here. It's just very, 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 very conveniently placed yeah. for us. My favorite uh, movement section of the game. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. Great, very satisfying. Great, great thing about uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is there's there's such good uh, like heals scattered throughout that we don't even need to use a Pokemon Center. Um, yeah. We just get by on the free heals, and then there is one instance where we have to. Two instances, I guess, where we box heal, but. No, just one instance of box heal. No, um, before Victory Road and before Elite Four. Ah, okay, that's right. Oh, it's also. Well, the Elite Four part, most just get rid of the Pokemon, and same with the uh, Victory Road. All right, I think this is one of my least favorite stretches of the game here. Yeah, it's especially terrible in yeah. uh, Alpha Sapphire. Yeah. Yeah, in Alpha Sapphire, you actually have to, like, you know, things can actually happen here, but in this game, you're kind of just spamming Surf, Lister Purge a little bit, and cruising along. There's a lot of Latios. Is too good. Yep. Uh, actually, I mean, these... So, let me... The one part about this section that can be uh, pretty annoying... Even with a good special attack, I guess, is these Mightyennas. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much you get swagger. You're forced to either, you know, decide, do I want to hit through confusion? Do I need to heal it? Nothing really, like, too crazy, but, you know, it's little things that can save you some time. Yeah. There, there's an unfortunate situation where uh, if you paralyze some of the Mightyennas, they have a, an ability called Quick Feet. Yeah. And they become faster. Kind of backfire. Than yeah. It's really the only dangerous situation. That and the confused with the swaggers. Yeah, anytime you see Mighty Ina come out and there's not the uh, the text for uh, this one doesn't have quick feet though. Yeah. I definitely need to heal though, unfortunately, and this is a big reason why it can be Mighty Ina's. Forces you to heal in between fights and just little things that, you know, adds up. Let's see. Yeah, ideally you just get taunt or something and it just go along with your day. Yeah. 
Embargo also works. I think embargo is what I meant by taunt. Your girl Courtney again. Yep. Best girl. Again. A yeah, fight this game. fight coming up right here. Um, in this fight, in this game, it's Courtney and uh, or an Alpha Sapphire. It's uh, Matt. Matt. Yeah, and this fight is just. The light years better in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad for Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, Matt has actually... ice thing. It's just. He's yeah. actually has one like trainer um before that you want to get poisoned so you can avoid the ice fang yeah. up here or freeze. This is yeah. bad. Ice fang flinches and freezes you. So if you're slow, yeah, yeah it's not a good situation where you want to be slower than. So sometimes you'll use marsh stomp to use bulldoze to slow it down before you swap into Latias, and that's not fun. I'm gonna go to Slateport City. Um, obviously, we gotta continue the story, but I'm gonna also do a little bit of shopping here. Because we might as well. And this shopping will actually uh, last us the rest of the game for all of our X items, so. Yeah, it works out because Slateport's one of the few cities where we can actually buy X items. Yeah, so so right there, um, I bought eleven. So like, I bought eleven X speeds. So even though I'm not going to use eleven X speeds, it's actually just faster to. Uh, oh, I dropped my repel on accident. Oops, that's fine. Um, so even though I'm not going to use eleven X speeds, it's actually just faster because you can just tap right once to go to eleven, and instead of just like scrolling to the individual amount you're going to use. That's that's little tricks that's used not only in this run but in every Pokemon speed run. So. Always liked cool little optimizations like that. Oh, I did drop my repel. I'll just have to remember. I'll probably have the menu after uh, Rival anyways, so I can just yeah. do it there. don't really, really remember where these when these fights start i don't i don't think there's a yes no here there's not hmm. there's a yes no, no after, after the, the fights fight, yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah, what's up ghost all right so so leading surf is actually better on this fight because i mean it doesn't really matter that much one of my special deck is what it is right now. But leading Surf, if you get Embargo, it kind of saves you a little bit if you have bad special attack. Yeah, getting Embargoed means even the held item it becomes ineffective, so we don't get the special attack boost from exactly. Surf. <clears throat> I 
I will say for Rival as well, just because why not? This rival fight coming up. Uh, again, it's not too bad. Um, the main thing is you have to set up on a swallow again, and it's it's annoying for the exact reason that Winona's swallow is annoying. You're gonna spam double team on you, and then you're just forced to hit through with like 60% accuracy or worse. So I'm gonna need an X speed. Yeah. Uh, I could have used my last item. That's fine. All right, that's a good hit. Nice. That's very good. It's actually ideal. Wow. Very good fight. Yeah. Love to see it. That grow bio can kind of be a pain sometimes. Mainly it can be annoying if the Swellow did a lot of damage on you and you're, and you're forced to heal and then it can just get a little awkward from there, but luckily we didn't have to stress too hard about it. Alright, so I'm going to need a menu. I need to heal and... uh. <clears throat> Those Lepa Berries we got earlier, that's where they're going to come in handy right now. Our, yeah. our Luster Perch PP is running a little low, so we're just going to throw them on and keep it moving. That allows us, you know, to skip centers and stuff like that. Oh, I guess I hit the Pokedex. Fair enough, I guess. I uh, will go to Leppa Berry on Lesser Purge. I uh, also need a Max Repel. Drop that on accident. We're good. I definitely, uh, if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't have uh, dropped my Max Repel, I could have probably gotten away with not healing not for this next fight. Yeah. And then just pretty much, you pretty much you can like delay the menu as long as you can. As long as you can take a hit, there's no reason to menu. Until you absolutely have to. Uh. Okay. That part is kind of, I was not ready for that. <laughs> Could have potentially bought a revive. I shouldn't need it though. Alright, this Mighty I'm pretty sure does have Quick Feet. So, yeah, that's actually not... I think this one, yeah. It's not great, actually. Okay, that works. Okay, yeah, that one has Quick okay, Feet. Yeah. So, yeah, I would have uh, would have been dead to another Insurance there. So, I definitely made the right call. 
and got yeah. a little lucky with the fully paralyzed. Oh, it's scary, yeah. Yeah, that was actually very scary. That's like that's the scenario that ran through my head when I thought about I could have bought a revive. Paralyzing that and then getting assurance. Uh, also, the hideout between uh, off Sapphire Meg Ruby are flipped. True, yeah. It's always a little weird. And also, you don't. When you pick up the Master Ball, it's a little different. You get to yeah. talk to uh, a bush in Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, it's really easy. You can just point one direction, click A, and then you'll get the Master Ball. Uh, but for Mega Ruby, we have to kind of finagle a diagonal movement here. They're like electrodes on the top right and the bottom left. We don't want to pick yeah, those up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Obviously, we need the Master Ball because we don't want to YOLO ball a, a Legendary in this game. <laughs> hey, when is a top end skip Master Ball? Yeah. Buy a quick ball? <laughs> Imagine. I'm not going to risk this. No reason. Whatever. Yeah, and no, at least for round two, you get your Quaza and you use a quick ball for that. Exactly. But I think it's it's weird though because the Rayquaza catch rate is like I don't remember what it is exactly, but it's way better with Rayquaza than this for the like box legendaries I think with a quick ball. Yeah. Just kind of was just kind of strange to me when I figured that out. Because I mean if it was like forty percent like for like your legendary to get in with a quick ball, I mean it's not a horrible yellow strat. Yeah. I think you're just given a quick ball too though. After yeah. I don't, I don't know where we'd get a quick ball before. Oh. Oh, yeah. you buy it from a. You have to do the backwards movement, uh, and then buy it in that shop. Yeah, uh, that's where you buy that. it. In, I think that's where you buy it in round two. Alright, well, that's sells it. I'm never doing round two. Just do backwards movement. Yeah, yeah I've done. <laughs> one, I've done one run. I don't remember. But yeah, this is a nice laggy fight right here. Yeah, speaking Absolutely. of Elite Four Round 2, there's a similar fight where these are mighty Inos, they all have Intimidate, yeah. and it's the worst. <laughs> Heckman, do you by chance know the, uh... Catch rate? Like when you can, sk you should be able to skip an X special attack on when Tate and Liza with a crazy good special attack. Good, I don't remember. Headbob used to tell me about it. Um, it was, it was a cool, you could either, I think it was something like you could take off the Mystic Water, but I think I just skipped the first one and I surf with both. Yeah. Pretty sure I just surf, surf, and then uh, X special surf the next turn. We'll try it. Yeah, take off the Mystic Water and do the fight normally. Or maybe you actually have to take off the Mystic Water for it to work. I don't, I don't remember actually. Now I'm second guessing it. I know we just cruised through that fight right there, but that fight could be one of the more annoying fights in Alpha Sapphire as well. It's just completely free in this game. I am full HP. Surfing. Cool thing about this game is if you get lost, you can just look at the oh wrong way. You can just look at the the bottom screen and know where to go.
Yeah, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do here for Tate and Liza. Yeah, me too. What I was thinking about is I don't know if my if I use Surf Surf, if Marsh Stomp will hit them into heal range. My Marsh Stomp's pretty underleveled, so I doubt it. But we'll see. The spinner always terrifies me. Yeah, so that's another spinner where I just walk, I diagonal yeah. a tile. Instead of just I diagonal a tile, let this see what the spinner does and then go. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this game is there's a lot of little movement optimizations that you can do. Um, and that's because of the way this game is. It was it's a 3D game where you can go diagonal and stuff like that. So you can, you know, save some tiles here and there, save some steps by doing some optimal movement. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Strength, but I don't need a surf. I don't know why I thought I had to surf. Alrighty. Peyton Liza. So yeah, this fight is pretty easy. I mean, it's can't really die to this fight. The best fight the best way this fight can go is if uh you really don't want your Marsh Knopf to die on turn one. That's the best way this fight can go. And the way that happens is uh simply get light screen like that. So now we're just gonna surf. I'm going to set up the next special. And Marshop's going to die, which is actually pretty important. We'll talk about that a little later, I guess. Yeah. Having Marshop not die turn one saves us uh, another death animation. We would have to watch Castform die too, which is slow. Exactly. Very good fight, yeah. Yeah, executed to perfection. Lovely. Yeah. So the reason why Truly had to kind of do some math there to find out is if uh, you X special attack, you knock uh, both Lunatone and Sol, Sol Rock into a heal yeah, range, yeah. and it's just mm -hmm. not a good situation to be in. Yep. So, <laughs> can't ever relate. Having your Latios be too good. We've got what two fights, for the net, and then like twenty minutes yeah. cutscenes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The next yeah. like, whatever, twenty five minutes is there's like a couple fights, and then followed by one more. So like three fights. The rest is just a lot of mashing. <laughs> yeah. Closely approaching the end of section two, and then exactly section three will start. True. Okay, so I'm gonna teach dive, and I'm already full HP, so we're good there. <clears throat> That's the cool thing about this uh, this route is uh, you actually don't need to uh, catch any HM friends; they're all just happen to be everything you use on the run. Yeah. It's really convenient. Dive, surf, strength, rock smash, just Marsh Stomp, yeah. just too good. Yeah, it really works out that Marsh Stomp learns so many uh, HMs and then we get free Latios, and that is pretty much solves a fly issue. Yeah, 
our Marsh Knob is still fainted, and that actually is gonna. It doesn't matter. We want it to stay that way. This part's pretty simple. You like the way I think about this part is you literally can just like there's this part of the water that's a little darker than the other than the rest, and if you just hug this left line, yeah, the whole way, it's just perfectly leads you down. Yep. Oh well. Yeah, right. You're not supposed to get off there, but. Try yeah, to cut the corner and messed up a little bit. Seafloor Cavern, there's a uh, movement is very frustrating. It's a lot of one tile gaps that we need to hit, and so uh, yeah, it's not fun. And another little spinner pass here. I just get off the bike here for a little bit of consistency. Yeah, some people, some people do it differently, but just for me, that was a little risky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. I, whatever. All good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the yeah, important that was question: left or right boulder? That's a good question. Left. I always go left. Oh, I... Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever done that. Ah. That'll happen when you're rusty. Yeah. All the nip for something good. Good grout on. Good grout Copium. on. There we go. Copium. All right. Last uh, mighty end of the run that can kind of anno annoy you. I don't know if this one has quick feet or not. If it doesn't intimidate at the beginning, it does. Sorry, Ekman. Oh, yeah. It has intimidate. You're good. Oh, I'm sure I wasn't listening. Oh, yeah. Okay. Embargo. There we go. Beautiful. Easy. Those moves are just really fast. Just... Some runs, you there's just runs where you get nothing but straight embargoes from all the Mighty Innes, and it's just beautiful. Yeah, and this part coming up, it's also a part where you can get off the bike for a little consistency. Or stay on the bike. I'll try to stay on the bike. Is he enough? Nice. Sometimes you can get trolled there by the little one tile, but... Yeah. This fight coming up, uh, I think, yeah, I can save when I go in this room. Yeah, you can okay. save before the battle. Yeah. There's only a little cutscene. one situation that gets a little mm -hmm. unfortunate, but it's uh, the Mighty Enum has Pretty some devastating. Bar, yeah. That we really need to set up and get some speed going. Um, otherwise, uh, it, it just doesn't end well. So uh, the save kind of just is uh, insurance just in that situation where we get uh, embargo, but it rarely happens. Rarely. Rarely. <laughs> I get embargoed on my PB. Is it the first time? I think I got embargoed like once when I first started, and I'd never seen it ever again. But there's some. Yeah, it's just so. Confused. It's really weird how it happens. Mm. Like, I wish we had an exact percentage on the chance to get it, but uh, it's just. It's really low. Yeah. It has to be. So this is the one fight we get the guard spec for, because ideally it just keeps spinning scary face like that. Uh, we really need to outspeed Crobat is the reason why we don't want to have our speed dropped. Okay. Actually go at plus one with... Uh... Oh, I missed the range. It's unlucky. Is that 11 and 16 there to one-shot that? Can save you a turn. Yeah. I've set up. Everything else just dies at plus one, though, which is nice. Well, I'm pretty sure the camera would probably always die at plus zero, but the Weezing and... But I think the Weezing always dies at plus one. And the Crobat can be a range at plus one if you have a bad special attack. <laughs> yeah, the so, 19 minus. Yeah. Wow. 
All right, and it's like that. We're done with Latios. Yeah. Camera up goes through all the the hoopla of Mega evolving <laughs> just to die in one shot. <laughs> True. Rip. We're in the good part of the song. Oh. Hmm. There's a real reason not to run on Mega Ruby. <laughs> Is Drought Over Drizzle? Or oh, it's the song after this. Yeah, uh... the Maxi the Maxi it kept playing. That, I don't I don't know why it does that sometimes. I feel like it doesn't always do that. Maybe I'm crazy. Just misremembering. Yeah, the the rain theme is just superior. It has to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The good thing about this part minutes? of the game, we got yeah. Is that again? Is that again? Sorry. Like what? Ten minutes of cutscenes right here. Yeah. So yeah, the the whole Wallace split is like I think it's like eighteen minutes or something, and uh, <laughs> that's, that's and there's one fight in the whole split. So. yeah. You know, if you need to use the bathroom, get some food, it's a good time. Yeah. There's a really good cutscene for that right after Growled On. This one now this one works as well. Just I don't I actually don't know how long this one is though, but it feels about a minute, roughly. Luckily, we do got the good music to listen to during this, so it's not too bad. The Oras OST is just goaded. So good. Yeah, I think Gen 6 in general has really good music. I like that. Yeah, music. I too. Definitely. I definitely prefer the XY music. <laughs> no bias. <laughs> Well, you hear plenty of it tomorrow. <laughs> True, yeah. Looking forward to it. I did one practice run of X. I need, I need to uh, actually do a, a real run. Do it. All of uh, all of Gen Six got into PS PSR marathon. I love to love to see it. It sneaked in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you love to see it though. Oh god. So this is this is the drought music. This is Yeah. yeah. If you can call it music, it's <laughs> just like sounds. <laughs> Even that's a bit generous. <laughs> yeah, the movement the movement going through the sections are pretty simple. But like I said before, it's pretty nice. If you do get lost, um you can just look at the bottom screen. It's nice about the uh, DS, the 3DS games. Exactly. I know X doesn't have it, but uh, Gen 7 does. Has the map as well, which is pretty nice. Bring back the map. I like maps. Can't lie. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. All I did is I made a, I mean, I a guess... PDF file with all the uh, movement. To if I ever get lost, maps. You can also maps. actually learn the run. Maps. 
So I only run Oras or Omega Ruby during the day. If you run it during night, do you still get the sunshine during drought? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason with the day, I think the only thing with the day is just yeah. weather, right? Yeah. yeah. On the Weather Institute route, rain. How much time is it? I, don't think I mean, and even then, it. like, it's not that slow. Yeah, I always forget. Oh, I don't even bother to change my time. Yeah, Usually. like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Just thought it'd be We're talking a couple seconds, probably. Yeah. If that. Being the dead of night and then just having it sunshine. Imagine. Everywhere. Yeah. That would actually be pretty cool, though, if it was, like, nighttime, but, like. Oh. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, we're just going to continue mashing here. Almost done with the mashing. For now. Man, imagine if he had turbo on 3DS. Imagine. All of our thumbs would appreciate that. I don't know. It's something about mashing all the text boxes perfectly. Not like perfectly, but just something about mashing them fast. It feels really satisfying. It's a good feeling, yeah. Really, when you mash, are you uh, L hold down, mash B and touch screen? Yeah, so well, yeah, exactly. I hold L and then mash B in, yeah. in bottom screen. I know there's some people that do it differently. Um, yeah. Like, for example, I think Head Bob just holds like A, mashes B, and the bottom screen. Uh, it's just varies person to person. Yeah. Pretty cool. Alright. Go get our grout on. A little intermission between cutscenes here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God, the music's over. Yeah, now we're back to the cat jamming. Now we get to, you know, ride on the back of this Groudon. Yeah, very Do some safe. lava. Very, very safe, indeed. It's okay, we have a suit that protects us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as far as Groudon goes, your stats definitely matter. You don't, you can definitely get by with any Groudon. The uh, the worst is would probably just be minus attack of some sort, low IV. Um, anything else honestly is fine. Some obviously faster than others. Yeah. But and some obviously a little. You have to go a little riskier or whatever. But yeah. Nothing too crazy. What the save button exists for. Or we just get a good ground on, you know? Yeah. I'm not too We're sure good. what the best ground on would be, but in my opinion, it'd probably be neutral 31. Neutral 31 attack, and then... Uh, plus speed. Plus speed, yeah. Yeah, I Especially so now with the new timing change. I don't yeah. know if, you know... A guard of the new timing change. <laughs> so nice. Definitely. Now it makes me look faster. <laughs> I, I, my favorite thing is it makes some of the runs sub three. So seeing that the two yeah. fifties is it just it, it's not yeah really exactly, sense, but it, it looks cool. pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Sub three. Yeah, and the world record in uh, 
a Mega Ruby is pretty it's pretty optimized and it's really good yeah now uh insane i would say the i would say the yeah it's really really good it's a low uh, 253 and for example the alpha sapphire is over a minute and a half behind that world record so alpha sapphire definitely has some catching up to do but um still alpha sapphire is still a really good run as well yep but i, I do believe Deep down, that you know, 253 will happen in Alpha Sapphire eventually for sure. Yeah, hopefully. Man, I wonder who has the Alpha Sapphire world record. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet he's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Time to pioneer yeah, the. He probably uh, is. He's probably all right. <laughs> pioneer the fastball ground on catch. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we get sub 250. Yeah. Okay, just gonna get in real quick. Alrighty. And then as soon as you say no to nicknaming Grout on here, you have about a two minute break of just being able to relax and chill. So it's actually really nice. It comes at a really nice point in the run too. Yeah. Where normally yeah. you have to go to the bathroom or you want to drink or something. So that bathroom break is just so rejuvenating. Yeah, it's different. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna actually do it really fast. <laughs> All right, now that truly is gone for it, let's just smack Taco Mega Ruby until he comes back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is I, our patch for the Alpha, yeah. Alpha Sapphire Society. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we put the ass in Laddie ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of both, personally. I think they are different enough where I feel like I can appreciate both. But uh, yeah, Alpha Sapphire I think is has a special place in my heart just because it's especially a very funny run. <laughs> okay. uh, it's it's a meme. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder why I, I do Alpha Sapphire, Alpha Sapphire of a Mega Ruby. Yeah, you must have but had you know, bad it's... bad influences when you first started speedrunning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, you just committed to the bit. Alrighty. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we'll probably save for the ice puzzle. If I was if I was more practiced and prepared, I probably would be more comfortable not and just going for it. <laughs> but might as well just, you know, we're come yeah. this far. And the ice puzzle actually is actually a big execution part in the run too. Um Oh guys! If, if you if you can do it fast, it definitely can save you time. Yeah, I messed it sure. up three times on my PP. Just it was so <laughs> painful. Yeah, and the fact that you can run on the ice puzzle—it's something you couldn't do in the originals. It makes it a lot, you know, a lot harder for speedrunners because you know you want to go fast and you know you can run, but you also know that if you mess up like one step, it can be tragedy. Oh, it's nice if you do mess up, you have di diagonal movements, and a lot of times I can save you. Yeah, true. Yeah. Time to get the Groudon calculator out. <laughs> you got to do that during the cutscene. Yeah. No, I got it up as well. Um, yeah, just like just like uh, your Latios and Mudkip, you have you have an IV calculator that shows you your Groudon stats, and that just helps, you know, just narrow down what strats you'll be doing in the E4 and stuff. Not that it differs too much, but like, you know, good speed or good attack could save you a setup turn or something like that. Yeah.
a nice fun fact, fortunate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Alright, we gotta do a little bit of menuing here. Remember when we got Swords Dance? It's finally uh, coming, coming back full circle. Hour and a half yeah. later. Yeah. Sick callback. <laughs> Restore. Uh, I'll just equip the Persian. God move overheat too. Yep. We love overheat. <laughs> <laughs> it's minus. I was plus special defense minus special attack. Yeah. Plus yeah, speed, though, so that's nice. Uh. All right, now we have focus time for this puzzle. Definitely can be one of the more nerve-wracking part of the runs, especially when you're on PB pace and you get to this part of the run, you come so far and then you're so close. Yeah, it's a moment where you have no one to blame but yourself too if you do it, so you get in a, a bad headspace if you do mess it up. <laughs> Just barely not 31 speed. It's still positive though. Right here. Alright, now the real tricky one. Easy game. Easy. Nailed it. Let's go. Yeah, like, I've practiced that countless times. Like, there's just... It scares me every time. <laughs> yeah. And it still scares me every time, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was... Fashion I... All the gym leaders are just fashion icons. Yeah, so, uh, first instance of having very good speed being beneficial. We outspeed love disc here. Yeah, that's actually very nice. Don't get confused, so that's nice. Also allows you to save your Persian Berry for the next fight. Yep. Which is pretty, but could uh, actually come in handy. Yeah. And then, you, yeah, you can see why Swords Mance is really good right away. Not only because it boosts our attack, just because the setup is the setup turn is just so much faster than using an X attack. Yeah, yeah sort of. And, and it takes and it makes you two stages as well. Sorry. Yeah. This is really, really OP. Really, really good. Um let's see, yeah, we should be alright. Yep. One forty. Yeah, even though this is the water gym, uh, Groudon is technically weak to water, but as you can see, it's really not an issue because Groudon pretty much outspeeds everything, and uh, with Sword Stance and Earthquake, it is a uh, very easy to one-shot everything. That's Wallace. Last gym. Let's go. This Groudon's crazy good. Yeah. yeah. The type. All right, so all we have to do now is teach Waterfall, and then on our way to the 4 Yep. And this is pretty much the reason why we wanted Marsh Stomp to faint in uh, Liza and Tate's gym. Uh, we take Marsh Stomp with us. There are some double battles um, where if Marsh Stomp was alive, uh, we would have to fight the double battle. But since we uh, keep Marsh Stomp dead, the double trainers leave us alone and we can just not fight exactly. those. You want Marsh Stomp dead, but you also want it in your party so you can have strength and stuff. Yep. Uh, oh, oops. It's wrong. That's fine. X moment, X muscle memory. You can just tap the math what I do. Yeah, yeah, and X, you open up the thing and then you fly yeah. with Helucha that way. I just didn't think twice about it. Uh, just waterfall. Yeah. 
the route scares me a little too. Because there's a bunch of, uh, this optional. Yeah, definitely. Also, another benefit of Outstuff Fires, you swerve it's a Kyogre and it's slightly faster. I'm True. pretty sure, right? Yeah. Kyogre be schmoovin'. Alright. At least it feels like it. If it's not faster, I am mind blown. So I, I could it time was. it, but then, you know, risk with one of the few Outstuff Fire advantages. Uh, almost lost where I was. Okay, it's fine. For some reason that guy just like blended into the rock for me for some reason my eyes didn't even notice him oh good though we made it past that guy that part can be kind of annoying yeah uh, or not annoying more just like scary at least you get a heal right after it anyway so okay. yeah it's not the end of the world i think it's just like a star yeah. or something yeah like yeah. That. yeah yeah that guy is a yeah this part's pretty important you want to yeah. again we don't want to sure do... yeah you do not want to deposit marsh stomp here Right. So having the Persian Berry actually could come in clutch right here on this next fight. This Frost Slash yeah. can confuse us. Ideally, it doesn't even attack, or it just attacks us, but I mean, it doesn't matter now. The fights, as long as we hit Overheat, we're, we're looking very good. Yep. And that's a ro rotator, and you can't, uh, you just sneak right behind him. Can't hit yep. see yeah. you. It only spins right and, right and up, so sneak up behind him on the left. Watch Persian Berry. See you later, Frost Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so having... some... yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, having that person is so, so good. If you get confused, yeah, you just exactly. get it. That's the extra speed there, so we can save that person from uh, Wallace's gym is so clutch. Yeah, and this route is a little more optimized now, where uh, we don't we don't pick up both Persian Berry bushes. We just do we just get the bare minimum, which is three. Or what is it? Three? Yeah, three. Yeah. Well, Maxi, Maxi, Wallace, Sydney. Yep. Some most important ones. Those are like the three you really need. Other places, it's convenient to have them, but not necessary. Yeah. Yeah, that Frost last fight. And then there is also a fight uh, during the Weather Institute where you could theoretically do a person just as a, a safety for swagger. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Again, if you're going fast, you can just risk it. It's not the end of the world if you get confused, but uh, yep. These games overall are very, very simple and uh, not too tough to pick up. So, and a lot of nice safety strats on both games that you can use to. If you really want to just play the game, definitely could. All right, so mess that up a little bit. But that's fine. Didn't talk to him. Um, gotta think. Okay, yeah. So there's a little wall. There's there's some movement coming up. It's not like too hard, but it's just it's it is kind of tricky. Not only is it because it's like a spinner, but it's the last spinner in the run, and it's just yeah. You know, you're thinking about it the whole time, what leading up to it. And it's just yeah. You're also in the dark, so it's just like yeah. You kind of kind of yeah. Squint your eyes a little bit. <laughs> you can see the screen. All right. Um, I'm not gonna have to heal. I can just wait. I'll just have to equip the prism after uh, Wally.
Yeah, definitely don't need to heal for Wally. Last optional in the game coming up. Ah, uh, should have took it. Okay, whatever. Took it that extra, extra safe, but yeah, it's scary. Yeah, I was very hesitant there. You and gotta kind of react fast too, as well. Like, cause if he's looking right, and then sometimes he can look directly left, and then you could pass him, you know, from the and right and the bottom. Battle. And you skip. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. That otherwise, we would have to fight unless Marshamp was dead. Hmm. Or we only had one Pokemon in our party, but... One of the best themes in the game right here, just... Too good. Guard the nice turn one. Very good. And some of my favorite strats in this game is using Smackdown to uh, be able to earthquake stuff you wouldn't otherwise be able to earthquake. Yeah. Pretty yeah, cool. Sm Smackdown is a TM that we got in Full Arbor Town. Uh, it's, it's very nice that we get that pretty much as part of the plot, and so it works nice with uh, being able to use Earthquake with that. Yep. Smack down the Magneton to break it sturdy. Okay, so Sydney I should just be able to swords. I just need to get to plus three and we'll be good. I will save for Sydney though. Because there is a world where you can get crit and die. Not likely, but it is possible. I'm probably gonna have to tank a uh, leaf blade, which is a high crit rate move. Definitely want to be, don't want to die there. Yeah, this Sydney fight uh, can uh, can change depending on if you have really good speed. Um, I don't remember who thought about doing it this way. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. If you have good enough speed, you can literally just swords, get swagger and go immediately to plus three and your speed's good enough. It's where you can just wipe or sweep. Uh, we need to do this. I also need to equip the Persian, which I do not have equipped right now. Uh, that's all I need to do. Yeah. Alright, E4 time. And also, Hoenn theme, Hoenn E4 theme is just so iconic to me. I just love it so much. Yeah. This game just, I don't know, like just Hoenn and Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, just those were my childhood. And I just, just love these games so much. Yeah, Emerald was one of my favorites as a kid. I'm gonna save. I could have scooted it up, but. Yeah, so our 
Our Groudon being uh, having Drought for its ability on this fight actually kind of plays there. Backfires, we kind of play ourselves yeah. with it. Um, the Shift Tree has Chlorophyll, which makes it outspeed us. So let me Swords. Swords Swagger is exactly what you want. And then you can just go. So we're now plus three. That's all you need for this fight. We're going to Earthquake here, but it's probably going to Fake Out. Yeah. And then now it's going to Leaf Blade, which is the reason we saved. All right, good. Yeah, awesome. Easy. Yeah, so this is a fight where having good enough attack is pretty good. Uh, if we can't one-shot with that Earthquake, uh, we'd have to probably do Overheat, and there's a 90% chance that we hit, so it's a 10% chance we miss, so it's a yep. bad situation if you miss Overheat. And also, the Sharpedo has Aqua Jet, so you have to kind of play around that. Sometimes you're in range to die to it. Yep. Through Sydney, though. Very nice. I will go ahead and probably Ooh. save for Phoebe as well. I don't think I need to save for... Okay, so what am I doing? I need to... <laughs> I just need to heal here. Oops. All right, so I need to heal and also equip Red Orb. Red Orb should be at the very bottom of my bag, I believe. Uh. Also, let's see if we can see the uh, the ghost. I doubt it. it's like it's like one frame. It's like behind her, isn't it, or something? Yeah, yeah. on the chair. If you look, concentrate. Uh, in the there chair was, right there here. was. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There are people that still don't believe me that the ghost <laughs> is there, but I try to point it out every time, and they always miss it. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I, I've, I've like, frame advanced to see it. All right, so this fight, um, this is this fight's one of the main reasons we teach overheat. Uh, pretty much this dust collapse is can be pretty annoying if you have to set up on it. So I, I we just like to overheat it, one shot it, and get on with our day. This fight's completely free, but we just have to if, assuming we hit this overheat, which is uh, ninety percent to hit. Things can get really weird if we miss. There is a different strat you can do for this fight that it makes it where you don't have to Mega and you also don't have to use Overheat. But that makes it where you have to set up on the Dusk Ops. And that makes it just hits. Nice. Wonderful. All right, good. Easy fight. Ideal, yeah. Definitely don't need to save for BB. Fake out skip on the Sableye. Never. I have seen people get it before, which is crazy to me, but. Mainly Pokey Guy got it on his PB in this game. <laughs> which is just, <laughs> just funny to me. It's, it's like insanely rare. Yeah. I mean, I've done E4 countless amount of times, never seen it. Maybe one day. I have to actually set up on the Duskinor here. It's a much better thing to set up on. And also this this won't die at plus zero, so it's just better. Just need to heal. Also, where this uh, that other leopard berry that we got earlier, it's gonna come in handy right now. Let's 
So literally we only use two PP items this whole run. It's just two Lepa Berries. One on Luster Purge and then one on Earthquake. So Pretty cool. Yeah. Mega Ruby again. Hyper optimized with the, the PP management. Totally need two Lepa Berries. Uh, strength. It's really important you use the Lepa on Earthquake there. I took an extra slow to ensure that I yeah. did use it. It's very, very bad if you don't. So, since our speed is so good, we do not have to set up next speed on this fight. Where normally you would have to set up next speed, so. Yep. Crunch, doesn't really matter. Not as fast as getting like hail or something, but. No big deal. Wall rain is obviously guaranteed, but it could be. It's one of those situations where if you have a really bad route on this, wall rain can be a range at a plus two. Yeah. It's rarely ever the case that, that your grout on is that bad. <laughs> yeah. It's like a worst case scenario, honestly. Yeah. Didn't get protect. The PP is pretty tight here, so if you do get protect on that uh, Glalie right there, you have to kill it with SmackDown. Just because ensure you have enough Earthquakes for everything. And out Sapphire, it's a real pain because of the sheer cold. Yeah. It's a one hit KO. Really good speed. It's very nice for Sydney as well. Also allows you to skip back next speed. Yeah. Wow. Which you can only do with uh, really, really good plus uh, nature. Yeah, like speed. really, really good speed. And that's what we have. <laughs> the fast version of this fight, which is just go to plus four and then swim. Guard. Okay, that's fine. Smack down that to get it on the ground, and then we we win. Yep. That's just how good this fight is with really good speed. How fast it is. Also, then, um, 
these Plygons, I think they're reasons we put on, they're some of the reasons we uh, put on the Silph Scarf uh, for these fights, so we can strength these. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure that Salamence was arranged. So, I think it was it like 14 it. and 16. <laughs> yeah, I would kind of forgot, but it's all good. Let's get the 7 and 8, you're fine. Just gonna go ahead and heal for your. Yeah. Steven. And yeah. Last fight of the game. That's right, last fight of the game. Let's go. In fact, this used to be the second last fight of the game. Oof. Until recently where the timing did change for this run. We'll go ahead and save because, you know. Wanna finish. See, I'll just go to plus six for sure. Yeah. No reason not to. Yeah, it's a 13 out of 16, something like that. Four. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so pretty much sometimes you can go to plus four instead of plus six if you have really good attack. Um, if But the clay doll can be a range at yeah. plus four. So everything else dies at plus four, but... Unfortunately, the clay doll is range. Yeah. Also, a banger cool. theme. Yep. What ends up usually happening? Out. If you have 31 perfect IV uh, attack, I think clay doll is like a 15 or 16, and generally for those, we just risk it and just go for it. Yeah. Like, I would definitely go for 13, 16 on a PB attempt, probably. Yeah. Toxic turn one. Pretty toxic, but it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just go ahead and smack down our yeah, I'll swords again. It's fine. Kind of unfortunate, actually. It's alright. Because oh. I have now I have the potential to get uh, toxic, toxic again. Whereas if I would went plus four, I could have smacked down on that turn. I swords again, and that would have allowed it to where I didn't have to give it another chance. All right, nice. Nice. Didn't get double toxic, so that's nice. Yeah, we're not entirely in the clear yet. Uh, yeah. There's a situation with the uh, aggron, but we hope for the best. Yep. We give the aggron a turn because we have to break it sturdy. Um, and then sometimes if it hits us, it can put us into bullet punch range for the Metagross. So we'll see what happens. Iron Tail miss. Nice. Nice. That should be GG. I don't th even think yeah. I can die at uh, Metagross from here. This is lovely. Not quite sub three, but hey, I mean, I I'm mean, I'm happy with you know <laughs> for short notice and this is a, a D Rust yeah. marathon situation. I think this is is a really good run. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy that I could uh, step in yeah. and stuff. So there's bullet punch. Doesn't matter. So time, time does end whenever it fades to black. Is a Hall of Fame? Yeah. Or normal, the old timing used to be where we would go through the entire credits and then we would fight Rival again after the credits. And the whole point would... of our fight is to lose as fast yeah. as possible. <laughs> so, pretty much with the timing change, it pretty much saved 10 minutes of IRL time save for everybody. I think everybody appreciates it, to, to be honest. Some people might not like it, but 
it is. Like, I, it might, like it's definitely it, really like it. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's a better change. Again, you know, I mean, makes the run sub three pretty cool. Yeah. So. I think this was better than my GDQ run, which I'm happy about. Again, yeah, I appreciate uh, you know, Jordan asking me to step in, and yeah. I appreciate you all for commentating and stuff. Yeah. And very yeah. happy that I could fill in last. Glad you were able to. Last second. Yeah. Big props to you, truly. That's that's awesome that you're able to do this. I'm glad Omega Ruby got its time to shine, GG. too. 301, not bad. Take it, yeah. All right. So that's pretty much it for uh, Omega Ruby. Again, truly, thanks for stepping up. Uh, we got a really treat with Omega Ruby to be able to see uh, you run it, so really thankful for that. But just a reminder for everyone again, uh, Fortunate's Alpha Sapphire uh, run will be tomorrow after uh, Head Bob's right. X and Y runs. So uh, please, yeah, please stick around for that uh, if you're available. It'll be a fun run to see Alpha Sapphire as well. So we'll take a quick intermission. We'll set up for our next run. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll be right back. Appreciate all the GGs. Thank you very much. Yeah.